and i am back the video that i wanted to make ages and ages ago was going to be titled stop traveling and this was going to be posted about two months ago when all these things started happening in other countries far away far removed and i was already cautious i was limiting where i was going i was limiting the people that i was seeing because i was like this is getting serious but unfortunately people still did not take it serious at all and people were still traveling now the problem is people are actually still traveling tell me why megabus suspended all their travels and all their trips just a few days ago that was mind-blowing to me i did not know people were still traveling like crazy and they were and they will if governments don't say stop traveling there's a stay-at-home order don't go anywhere the government needs to say this because if they don't people do not take this thing seriously now i feel i need to come on here and say this thing anyway stop traveling because governments in places like the uk in places like the netherlands have said uh prime ministers have said you know easter holidays are coming nice weather is coming like this weekend it was amazing weather don't go anywhere stay home stay safe save lives so don't go anywhere right why are they still saying this because they know that people are going to be stubborn and people are still going to try and go out there into this world which is ah if <laughs> If the seriousness of this thing would have been really put out there, people would have been way more cautious and would have not thought twice about just staying at home. In any case, this virus is not just spread like how we thought about in the beginning by a, a direct <laughs> or a direct hachu straight up in your face. No, this thing is like, it's out there and people are really, the human contact thing is apparently something that we do very often, even if in the last few weeks it hasn't been shaking hands and giving hugs and stuff like that we've all known not to do that right we're all staying away from each other but what about being in a shop seeing something holding it putting it back being infected and actually infecting other people i think there's many other ways then an article came out that actually it wasn't just the sneezing it wasn't just the coughing but that it was also just people talking to each other there's people breathing close to like even if you're walking on the street if you see somebody coming just go the other way like it's that serious avoid all people especially people that are not in your household but yeah back to the cruise ship so the zandam one i was just wondering another cruise ship so how many of these cruise ships are just on these waters for for days and days and weeks and weeks like i don't understand then i realized that this particular cruise ship had been at sea since march 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 it was already crazy and you know what it is with cruise ships they have to go to different spots that's that's the fun of cruise ships sometimes people are gone for a half a year sometimes people are gone for a year sometimes people are gone for some months and they're just on there and everything is there everything they need they have a little cabin or maybe a big cabin depending on depending on how much money they spend and everything is there they have entertainment on site and everything but it's like thousands of people on there sometimes it's like three thousand two thousand people on these cruise ships but every now and again they want to feel like regular human beings, not just floating uh, on sea. So they dock somewhere and I guess they have to get, you know, their fuel for the, the cruise ship. I guess they'll have to get food and stuff. I don't know how this stuff works. I mean, they go for months and months. So I guess they need to get fresh food from somewhere. So anyway, they do all that. And that's the fun of the cruise ships, apparently. Not that I'm, I don't think I'm ever going to go on one. But anyway, um, so what they do is then they dock somewhere and then you can just hop out as you know a passenger as somebody who's traveling and you can go and explore this other place so it gives you an opportunity to explore many many countries and many many different places which sounds very amazing but that's probably how some of these people then went out there contracted covid19 and came back in i don't know if people went on there with covid19 and infected others i mean can you imagine this cruise ship actually had people on there that had died they were there they had died and nobody was allowing these people to dock why because they did not want that 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 trouble everybody that then gets off this cruise ship has to obviously be quarantined for 14 days wherever they dock like eventually dock that is too much for any country to be like all right just come on board because now every country is trying to deal with themselves and their own problems so it is crazy i don't know why these cruise ships were still going around um i don't know why megabus just stopped operating a few days ago i don't know why people are still traveling but i'm here to tell you to stop traveling stop stop going anywhere don't go anywhere just don't think about it 
I see people on YouTube talking about, oh, I'm going to see my friend. Oh, we're so bored. It's quarantine. I'm going to see my friend here and there. We're going to do a mukbang. We're going to eat. We're going to cook. We're going to play games. We're going to do a dance routine. We're going to. I've seen so many things. And I'm like, what kind of message are you putting out there? If people took this very, very seriously in the beginning, who knows where I would have been now? I'm sure I wouldn't have been here. So, in any case, I just want y'all to take this very, very seriously because this is nothing to be played with. And there's nothing to be played with and it's coming for ev it's definitely coming for everybody it is a crazy crazy disease some end up okay some don't we still don't even know the lasting effects of this disease on the lungs like it really just goes in there and attacks every single thing that it comes across you do not want to gamble with health you most definitely do not want to gamble with your life it is not worth it cancel every single plan don't make any plans for Easter holiday you better sit at home Play some worship worship songs and think about Jesus. Don't get anywhere on the hot um, weekends or weekdays. Don't plan anything for summer holidays. Just this actually, to be honest, because we don't know what's going to happen for this whole year. Just don't make any concrete plans. Zero, zilch. Just just don't 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 make any plans at all. It is totally and utterly not worth it we do not know where this thing is going to go and if you look at the peak that they keep talking about and the predictions that they keep making and bombasting us with it on 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 these news channels and we are not even close we are not even close sometimes we're not even 10 percent close to the amount of deaths that they say is going to fall and this has been going on for weeks so how much longer if we're supposed to believe the, the, the scientists and these estimations that have been made. How many weeks is it going to take before we can go back to normal? Like how many months? Forget weeks, forget days. For months, months, months. Yeah, months. We don't know. We're, we're, we're putting things in place right now. It's driving people crazy. It's causing a lot of stress. It's really damaging the economy. This is the best that we know to do now until this vaccine comes, which they say will take a year. I actually think that large gatherings should be on a hold for a while but if large gatherings are on a hold that means traveling is going to be on a hold for a very long time as well but in any case let's stop speculating and guessing and hoping and wishing well actually we do have to hope and wish we need, we need to do a lot of that but let's stop um fabricating things and just creating a lot of panic for ourselves in our head and just think about every day and how we're going to go through every day and how we're going to have that self-control to not go outside to not meet with anybody to not do anything outdoors um much avoid people if you do go out for a walk or whatever just try to avoid people and yeah when you are at home be productive do what you've always wanted to do it's like you're getting a new chance at life and continue to pray for those that are actually ill and yeah take the right precautions wash your hands many times and know how to wash them well wash them well lather well my hands are so dry because what do you call it i've been washing so many times that this is what my hands sound like right about now but sometimes i just refuse to put hand cream which is not very good not very good because your hands still need love but anyway that's about it so yeah in any case take care of yourself stay safe stay home stay sane stay away from covid yurts and whatever you do, make time for glorious life. It's time to start work, living it right. And I'll see you in the next video, which will be very, very soon. God bless.